स्वयं प्रभा डिजिटल इंडिया एजुकेटेड इंडिया So the example I have is example number eight uh, is that of the linear harmonic oscillator in one D. Linear harmonic harmonic oscillator oscillator problem in one D one dimension. So my my H the Hamiltonian given in this problem is the following. I straight away state the Hamiltonian which I stated in the beginning of this lecture. Uh, p square plus omega square q square and we need to find find the extremal we need to find the extremal right ok so clearly the h is independent of uh, of the variable t which is the independent variable so we look at the the solution to reduced we look at the solution to reduced Hamilton Jacobi equation, reduced Hamilton Jacobi equation which is nothing but, so the reduced Hamilton Jacobi equation will be h is equal to a constant where the variable p in h is replaced by del psi del q. So I get the following, so 2 m times del psi del q square del psi del q square plus omega q whole square is equal to alpha. Right. So, we have to solve this equation. Uh, so, to find psi. So, let me call this as, as my star. So, so, from star I see that my psi, the derivative of psi del psi del q is square root of 2 m alpha minus omega q whole square where alpha is positive is a constant right and then the next step involves integrating this equation so psi of q bar comma alpha well it won't be q bar because this is a 1d problem so psi of q comma alpha is the integral of 2 m alpha minus omega q square d q plus the constant which is the constant of integration. Now, we will see that when we are solving this class of uh, the solving the Hamilton Jacobi equation for the conservative class, uh, the number of constants typically e equals the dimension of the problem, right. Uh, even if we do not satisfy that, we can later on when we find the solution, we can always club the constants so as to satisfy this constraint the number of constants are equal to the dimension of the problem. Here we are solving the problem in 1D, right. So, in 1D we, we need uh, only, so we need to define my solution only in terms of one arbitrary constants, one arbitrary constant. So, uh, so this is without loss of generality because even if we keep more constants later on in the solution we can always club them to reduce the number of constants. So, that is why what we do is we take the constant of integration to be 0. So, constant of integration we take it equal to 0. So, this is 0 because we already have one constant sitting here, right. Okay. So, then uh, we can direct, I am going to directly write down the solution to this uh, integral equation. Uh, we see that psi of q comma alpha is omega by 2 times times q square root alpha square minus q square plus a square sin inverse q by a right and where my a where my a is 2 m alpha divided by omega so my a is the following right and uh, and for extrema, I just need to solve one equation. 
that I highlighted in my solution strategy. So, beta is del psi del alpha minus t, right. So, from here I see that this is minus m by omega sin inverse. I differentiate psi with respect to the constant alpha I, and I am writing the answer directly. So, students should check all these steps which involves algebra. So, this comes out to be this minus t or from here I can directly invert to get q as a function of t. So, from here my q as a function of t comes out to be negative, uh, negative square root 2 m alpha divided by omega sin sin omega by m times beta plus t, right. And the solution is similar to, uh, recall that we had looked at this problem of geometric optics in more than one occasion, especially we had seen the solution to this uh, system in our previous lecture. So, recall, recall uh, I have the number example 3 in my lecture 13, the previous uh, lecture series. Okay. So, so that completes this example and let us now, let us now look at how to solve. We have right now just shown uh, uh, the solution to this special class of uh, Hamiltonian system namely conservative system. The next set of discussion will be involving how to solve uh, solve this Hamilton Jacobi equation for this conservative system class, okay, uh, for this conservative system. Namely, we are going to look at the method of separation of variables. So, the method of separation which we promised few minutes back that I am going to talk about it. So, method of separation of variables for conservative for conservative system. Okay. So, let us look at this, this method in the most general form. So, consider, consider the reduced Hamilton Jacobi equation for the conservative class. Okay. So, consider the reduced equation. We see that this is also equal to h of q 1 q 2 q n comma del psi del q 1 del psi del q n. This is also equal to, let me call the constant as E, the Hamiltonian equal to some constant, let us call it as E. So, or I am going to rewrite this by saying that this is equal to 0, right. Okay. Now, suppose, suppose we are in a situation where, where all the functions of q 1, which is this one and this one, they can be clubbed together in the form of g of q 1 comma del psi del q 1. Suppose we are able to separate out one of the variables uh, that is q 1, right and write it in a specific form. Let us say the function to be g of that function, g of that variable. So, what I said is the following. Suppose q 1 comma del psi del q 1 appears, appears through a combination, it appears through a combination of the form g 1 of q 1 comma del psi del q 1, right. So, where, where, where g 1 is a known function, is a known function. So, g 1 is a known function. So, now let me call this equation as 1. So, 1 now is identical to the following form. So, this is identical to uh, f of, uh, well, now this is a different, uh, well, I must use the same function. So, this is h now, h of g 1 of uh, q 1 comma del psi del q 1, right, comma q 2 to q n, comma del psi del q 2 comma del psi del q n 
minus e is equal to 0 right. So, I now now notice that since we have separated out the variable q 1 possibly in this situation we can have a solution in which the variable q 1 can be separated. So, which if possible. So, let me call this expression by 2 which if possible possible will have a solution will have a solution of the form psi is equal to psi 1 of q 1 comma q plus r 1 comma the second function in which all the other variables can be clubbed right. So, we have separated out uh, you know the the solution in which the variable q 1 in which the variable q 1 appears right where capital Q is the generalized coordinate the coordinate in the new Hamiltonian system ok. So, and that can also appear here ok. So, so I call this this set of equation to be my 3. So, notice uh, notice. So, what have we got here? So, notice that now since my variables q 2 to q n uh, uh, have been separated out from q 1. So, then del psi del q 2 will be nothing but del psi del r 1 sorry del r 1 del q 2 and so on so forth. So, if I were to use 3 in 2 then some of these derivatives can be simplified right. So, using using my expression 3 in 2 then I see that I see that f of uh, f of g 1 of q 1 comma del psi 1 del q 1 comma g 2 to g n. Uh, now, the the other derivatives del psi del psi del q 2 can now be simplified as del r 1 del q 2 because q 2 to q n appears only in the function r 1 which is the remainder function ok. Uh, r 1 to del q n right and we see that this is well minus e this is equal to 0 right ok. Uh, so, what have we got? So, notice that g 1 is only a function of this is a function of q 1 only right. So, assuming assuming so this is my h assuming g 1 is suppose I have found this function g 1 such that this function g 1 is differentiable with respect to q 1. So, assuming g 1 is differentiable with respect to uh, q 1, uh, what we see that uh, let me call. So, we differentiate. So, let me call this as 3 prime. So, we differentiate 3 prime uh, with respect to q 1. I see the following uh, del partial h partial q 1 is equal to partial h partial g 1 times partial g 1 partial q 1 right ok. So, we see that del h del q 1 is del h del g 1 times del g 1 del q 1 ok. So, this is equal to del e del q 1, but e is a constant we are going to get that this is equal to 0. Now, this ex equation tells us that either this is 0 or this is 0, but that this one this one cannot be 0 because we are in other words we are saying that an arbitrary function g 1 is constant with respect to q 1 uh, and g 1 is the only a function of q 1. So, which means the function g 1 is essentially a constant right. So, this is not possible this is uh, so this equal to 0 is not possible because this implies that essentially our function g 1 is a constant that cannot be the case. So, which means that which means that del h del g 1 
is equal to a constant, uh, sorry del h del g 1 is equal to 0. Uh, so, which means, uh, well, uh, well, uh, the argument is exactly the opposite here. Uh, so, what have we got here is the following that, so either this is 0 or this is 0, but, but, uh, but, but uh, del h del g 1, this cannot be 0, right, because otherwise, uh, because the, and, and the answer to this reasoning is, because g 1 is arbitrary, arbitrary, it is an arbitrary, uh, uh, so, so it is, it is, it is, it is quite general. So, this sort of separation is for a general uh, function g 1, right. We cannot all the time have that del h del g 1 is 0, right. For certain class of functions g 1, it may be the case, but not for all sorts of functions g 1, right. So, which means, which means that del g 1 del q 1 is equal to 0 or, or my g 1, uh, g 1 which was g 1 which was a function of q 1 comma psi of q 1 psi prime of q 1 comma capital Q, right, is purely a function of the generalized coordinate capital Q, right, because we have already eliminated out the dependence of q 1 on g 1 through, through this argument, right. Okay. So, so, so we have now the following, uh, so let me, let me call this finding as my 4. So, which means that, which means that this condition here, the condition 4 is actually a first order differential equation uh, for my unknown psi 1 right psi 1 is the only function which depends on q 1 so from here i can find out my function psi 1 right so similarly we can con continue this process for psi 2 psi 3 psi 4 and psi n and so on so similarly similarly what i have is uh, suppose suppose uh, q k comma del psi del q k appear q k comma this appear in 1 as they appear in 1 as the functional form g k of q k comma del psi del q k right and so they they appear as the functional form g k the g k's are all known from k 2 to n for each of the cases and from here i can deduce that psi of q bar comma q capital q bar can be written in the form of psi 1 we are saying that we can continue our separa separation of variables to all the dimensions to all the possible components of the dependent variable right Okay. So, so let me call this expression 5 and, and where, where my function psi k is, they satisfy, the psi k is satisfy, satisfy uh, n uncoupled, n uncoupled, uh, n uncoupled first order, first order differential equations n uncoupled first order differential equations of the form g k of q k comma psi k prime of q k comma q bar equal to c k of q bar. In the along the similar fashion, we will have uh, we will have 
the first order differential equation for each component like we did it in the first component right where it turns out where c k s are not independent. So, c k s the constants they satisfy uh, they satisfy our original Hamilton Jacobi equation the original no, they satisfy the reduced Hamilton Jacobi equation. So, they satisfy 2 right. So, what is 2? So, 2 is 2 is this quantity right. So, instead of g k s I replace the g k s by c k s right. So, they satisfy 2 which means that h of c 1 c 2 c n minus e is equal to 0. Essentially, this equation is used to eliminate it is used to eliminate one of the c i s right. So, which means that c i s are not completely linearly independent of each other, but this is one uh, linear dependence in which we can eliminate one of the constants ok. ok. Okay, so, so far I have described the general methodology of the separation of variables for conservative systems. So, let me summarize. So, solution strategy, strategy uh, using, using separation of variables right for, for conservative systems, conservative systems right. So, let us say we assume so, we assume the solution of the form. So, I am going to use my previous numbering assume solution of the form 5 right. So, what is 5 let us go back. So, assume solution of this form right. So, this is what we have. So, assume solution of the form 5 and then identify identify the g k s the identify g k s the functional dependence of q i s via 6 right. So, again going back. So, 6 is this quantity this setup ok. So, going back now. So, once we have identified g k s you solve we solve uh, 6 we solve 6 for psi k s we solve 6 for psi k s and substitute substitute in our equation 5 right. We substitute our in our equation 5 5 here to get to get our generating function psi and which is what we are after right which is the solution of the reduced Hamilton Jacobi. So, let us look at one example which involves this solution strategy right. So, the example is numbered as 9 following our sequence. So, the example is we are solving the problem in Cartesian coordinates right. We consider we consider the motion we consider the motion of a particle we consider the motion of a particle in space under the action of gravity uh, in and the gravity only acts in one of the coordinates q 3 right uh, q 3 direction with Hamiltonian with Hamiltonian as follows. So, h is equal to 1 by 2 m which is given by p 1 square plus p 2 square plus and so on. Uh, plus p 3 square well there are only 3 components. So, p 1 p 2 p 3 it is a it is a problem in 3 D ok. So, p 1 p 2 p 3 plus the so this is my kinetic energy plus the potential energy is given by m g q 3 right ok. Where my mass is m g is my gravitation constant and uh, q 1, q 2, q 3 makes makes their own sense. Now, so we write write down our reduced Hamilton Jacobi equation. So, my reduced 
Hamilton Jacobi equation is as follows. So, h of q bar comma p bar uh, is equal to a constant. Let me call this as E and then from here I, I replace P by del psi del q i and from here I can. So, I know the form of the Hamiltonian. So, I get the equation as follows. So, this is 1 by 2 m. So, instead of P 1 square I have del psi del q 1 whole square instead of P 2 I have del psi del q 2 whole square and instead of P 3 I have del psi del q 3 whole square plus 2 m well what have I got? Uh, well I have multiplied throughout by 2 m. So, plus 2 m square g q 3 plus this quantity uh, is equal to uh, so minus 2 m e this is equal to 0 right. So, now I have to, to solve this system we have to separate variables or the first step involves identifying the functions g k s in which the variables q 1, q 2, q 3 can be clubbed together. So, so, first of all the step 1 involves assume a separable solution. So, assume psi is psi 1 of q 1 comma q right and plus psi 2 of q 2 comma q plus psi 3 of q 3 comma q. So, assume a separable solution. The second stage is identifying g k s. So, note that I can take my g k g 1 to be this. So, we can take g k to be del psi del q k uh, for, for my first two components k equal to 1 and 2. Notice that they are quite similar, but for the third component uh, I have q 3 appearing, I have q 3 appearing here and here. So, I have to take my g k to be this right. So, I take my g 3 to be del psi del q 3 square plus 2 m square g times q 3 right. Note that I have not taken a square in g 1 and g 2 because if even if I had take a square taken a square uh, the solution involves g k set set equal to the constant c k. So, we could have taken square roots. So, taking square does not matter in the first two uh, components right. Okay. So, then so then the third stage involves the solution to these to these equations to find psi k s right. So, note that for k equal to 1 and 2 the solution methodology is identical and we see that del psi k del q k is equal to a constant c k as a function of the generalized coordinate or from here I see that psi k is c k of q of q k plus a constant k k of q right. I have just integrated this we see that the psi k is for k equal to 1 and 2 they are linear functions of the respective uh, position coordinates q 1 and q 2. Okay. For the third for the third case g 3 for for k equal to 3 I have that I have that. So, what have I got? I have that del psi del g del q 3 del psi del q 3 is square root of c 3 of q minus 2 m g well 2 m g well it is m square the constant is m square yes. So, 2 m square g times q 3. So, now I have to integrate this this equation and uh, notice so, what I have to do is I have to find psi as a function of q 3 comma q bar which is integral of this this expression. Uh, so, this is integral with respect to q 3, but we can eliminate we can eliminate uh, eliminate 
eliminate C3 uh, with respect to, well, we can eliminate this third constant in as in terms of C1 and C2 using, using my H is equal to E, right, using that expression. So, we eliminate one of the constants, right. As I said, we have one constant H is equal to E. So, H is a function now of C1, C2, C3, right. From here, I get that my psi 3, my psi del psi del, so psi 3 is the integral of this following quantity. This is 2 m e minus c 1 square minus c 2 square, these are all functions of capital Q, minus 2 m square g of q 3 and then we integrate with respect to q 3. Now, see that this integration is with respect to q 3, where q 3 appears only in one place. So, this is far more simple than to, uh, well, this is almost similar, but we have eliminated one constant. Okay. So, I am going to write down the answer, the answer to psi. So, the answer psi 3 comes out to be the following, minus 1 by 3 m square g times square root, well, times the following quantity 2 m, well, 2 m square e, well, 2 m e minus c 1 square minus c 2 square minus 2 m square g times q 3 to the power 3 by 2 plus another constant k 3 of q, right. Now, notice, uh, notice, let me call this, this quantity inside the power 3 by 2 as gamma cube, where gamma is the square root of this quantity here, which is underlined, right. So, my finally, my solution psi is psi 1 plus psi 2 plus psi 3, right and these are nothing but C 1 times Q 1, C 1 of Q bar plus C 2 of Q bar times Q 2 plus the third, uh, the, in the third expression I have minus 3 m square g of gamma cube plus k of Q bar, right. Now, notice that, uh, so this is, these two are my constants these are my constants in, in the framework p bar comma q bar. These are my constants in the original reference frame. And we also have a constant sitting here. Uh, well, we also have a constant, not this constant, but we also have a constant sitting here. Uh, so, this is also a constant which is inside gamma, uh, gamma, right. And finally, we are saying we are introducing another constant. So, we have introduced 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 constants. As I said previously, in an n dimensional constants, we try to keep n, uh, sorry, in an n dimensional problem, we try to keep n constants. So, we take, we take k such that k is already absorbed in the third constant 2 m e. So, we only have a 3 constant problem, right. So, so what have we done is, we take our C 1 to be alpha 1 and C 2 to be alpha 2, these are my constants in my original reference frame in small, in small letter reference frame and my E, this quantity is arbitrary and constant. So, that I take my E to be alpha 3 and I take my K of Q to be 0, which means essentially I have absorbed one constant, right. So, now my solution of the reduced Hamilton Jacobi looks like the following. This is alpha 1 q 1 plus alpha 2 q 2 plus, uh, well, minus 1 by 3 m square g times gamma, well, times uh, 3 by 2 of, well, 3 by 2 of 2 m alpha 3 minus alpha 1 square minus alpha 2 square minus uh, minus 2 m square g times q 3, right, to the power 3 by 2. So, all it needs to see is whether, whether the solution is complete or not and only then we are able to find the extremal q. So, check, check that this setup del 2 psi del q 
क्यू जे डेल एल्फा के कम्स आउट टू विद दिस मेट्रिक्स वन जीरो 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 वन जीरो 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 माइनस एम जी बाय गामा वेयर गामा आ क्यूब इज दिस एक्सप्रेशन एंड आई सी दैट दिस इज आल्सो इक्वल टू द डिटरमिनेंट सो द डिटरमिनेंट ऑफ दिस मेट्रिक्स इज द डिटरमिनेंट ऑफ दिस क्वांटिटी व्हिच इज एम जी बाय गामा एंड दिस इज सर्टेनली नॉट इक्वल टू जीरो प्रोवाइडेड गामा इज डिफाइंड राइट सो साई इज सो सो द कंक्लूजन इज साई इज कंप्लीट which means now we are able to find the extremal the extremal the extremal is given by the solution to this following set of equations i see that are given by beta k is negative del psi del alpha k for k equal to 1 and 2 and my beta 3 my beta 3 is minus del psi del alpha uh, well del alpha 3 and so this is my this will give my extremal my extremal to the reduced to the reduced uh, hamilton jacobi equation now if we were to seek the extremal to the original hamilton jacobi equation extremal to the original equation where suppose we want so what is the relation between the original and the reduced we had the dependence of t so here the the solution to the original hamilton jacobi will involve beta k del psi del alpha k k from 1 to 2 but now beta 3 is equal to minus del psi del alpha 3 del alpha 3 minus t right and from here i can find out that my extremals are such that qk is minus beta k i am inverting this relation by plugging in psi uh, so plus alpha k by m times b well beta 3 plus t this is for k equal to 1 and 2 and q3 is equal to minus g t minus beta 3 square plus 2 by m g my alpha 3 minus 1 by 2 m square g alpha 1 square plus alpha 2 square right so my original hamilton jacobi is where the time the independent variable appears so once we have the solution to the reduced hamilton jacobi we have shown that all we had to do was to change our last coordinate where the nth coordinate uh, as follows right and that from here we can get the extremals so this is my extremal solution right okay 